There's no hiding from the importance of the power to weight ratio when it comes to speed and efficiency on the bike. Keep the power the same, lose weight, and you will go faster. Well, does it matter where you lose that weight from or add that weight to? What if you were to add it to yourself or lose it from yourself or add it to your bike or lose it from your bike? I am sure I'm not alone in wishing I was carrying a few less pounds whenever I hit an incline on the bike. Now, I used to blame my old heavy bike, but that was in the days long before GTM when I didn't get nice sort of aerodynamic, lightweight steeds like these to ride. So I know that if I want to improve my power to weight ratio, it's sadly solely down to me. However, if you do have a slightly heavier bike and do have the capacity to lose a little bit of weight from it, is it best to lose the weight from the bike itself or from your own body. And by met best, I guess I mean what is important to you. Is it cost, time, aerodynamics, etc.? And ultimately, what is gonna be the most effective? Now, obviously here on GTM, we've covered in numerous videos the benefits of aerodynamics versus weight, road versus TT, and so on and so forth. But today, we're gonna to keep it simple. Where is it best to lose weight from, your bike or yourself? All right, we're going to kick things off with a bit of an experiment. So we've come to this hill just here. It's a pretty steep one, so it's going to be the most notable for the differences. Now, obviously, we can't just suddenly lose a few kilos from our body weight, and we don't have two bikes with the same aerodynamics that are a few kilos lighter. So that leaves us with the options of having to add the weight. Yeah. Now, we're going to be doing two runs flat out up this hill and we're going to be adding weight to ourselves. As you can see, Heather has got her bike weighted up already with five kilograms. Yeah, so I have a kilo's worth of water and four kilos worth of stones. <laughs> Very nice. As you can see, I have got a vest on it. It's a weighted vest, 10 kilograms. I'll be starting with it on my body. Heather will be starting with it on her bike. We'll be switching over. I'm going to somehow try and strap this to my bike. As I said, we're going to go flat out, recording all the usual metrics and comparing after. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what, what you're are doing. we let ourselves in for? <laughs> I'm not sure I'll get up this hill. Oh, dear. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> I guess so. I'm not, but we're just going to have to do this. Yeah. Right, ready? Three, two, one. Let's go, 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 go. Oh my God. Which hill to use? My legs are burning. Ah. So this is what five kilos adds. I'm gonna go on a diet after this. And, uh, uh, I don't know how Mark did it with 10. It's ridiculous. Out of the burn. The extra weight without the added power that comes with it normally. That's horrible. I mean, that hill is always horrible, but that was exceptionally horrible today. Oh, my poor legs. How is that, man? You love doing this, don't you? <laughs> Ask me a question when you've got your breath back. Oh, it just burns. I think this hill does on the best of days anyway. I, know, I but... hate this hill. And I mean, I normally wishing I had less weight. I don't normally add weight. I'm definitely wishing Did I had less weight. Did you feel any difference? Um, just that horrible. Okay. <laughs> what about you? I mean, 10. I was, I was thinking about you as I go up there. So I don't know if I get up with 10. Um, obviously felt horrible, but I feel like it was okay because it was on me. So I'm really interested to see what it's like on the bike. Yeah, I am quite looking forward to taking this off here. Oh, so well, there we go. But. Neither of us can win. <laughs> All right, no. let's go, go, go for the second run then. I need a bit of recovery first.
felt the worst. I think it was very close. More just having the weight down there, just to feel. You have to wait, find out what the results are in a moment. See how Heather's getting on. Oh, says I've paused. I'm not getting out slowly. I won't speak uh, this time. <laughs> oh, well, I am seriously glad that is over and I expect you're dying to take that weight off your bike as I well. I am, you, my lungs hurt. That was a hard effort. <laughs> I know, I'm her. feeling a bit wobbly afterwards, even though my effort was quite feeble. Well, talking of efforts, we should probably have a quick look at the numbers. So my first run took me three minutes and 16 seconds and I put out 188 watts and it was probably indicated by the fact that my computer stopped um, with an auto pause because I was going so slow. My second run was slower, even though it had paused, and it was three minutes, 22, so just six seconds slower, even though I put out the two more watts, actually 190 on my second run. What about you? Well, yeah, obviously I started with the weight on me. I went two minutes and 16 seconds on the first run. I've average power of 454. The second run, I can't believe it because it's that, well, they both felt terrible, but with the weight on the bike, two minutes and 17 seconds, just a second difference, and pretty much the same power, four, five, nine, um, mm -hmm. and heart rate, barely anything in it. So, yeah, yeah well, say, very even effort. I think for me though, like I'm not used to doing hills, there was a little bit of an element of the second time I had the rucksack, so I was a bit fatigued, but also I felt really hot with this on, <laughs> and they're just like, I don't know, it's psychological, isn't it? But it, it doesn't surprise me that much that there's not that much difference because we are looking at the whole package really aren't we yeah i did wonder were whether just that whole like the weight being on the bike and the feeling as you got out of the saddle yeah. etc but honestly both felt terrible in the same way <laughs> i mean obviously if you are carrying five extra kilos or in mark's case 10 i don't mean you're personally carrying Thank 10 you. extra kilos but you know ran with you every day then you're not gonna know it's not gonna feel so like weird is it that you're putting it on and if you do go to lose it then you're gonna really feel that benefit because you've been used to carrying it but it is just worth noting that if you do suddenly go and try and lose a load of weight please do it sensibly because if you lose it too quickly you're gonna lose muscle you're therefore gonna lose power and that defeats the whole object of trying to improve your power to weight ratio yeah it all goes out of the window there <laughs> also the same goes for the bike as well i mean some bikes are heavier. In this instance, we're on time trial bikes here that are designed to go fast, they're more aerodynamic, and typically are heavier. If you go to a lighter bike, yes, it might immediately save you time up a hill, but will it on the flats and where you might need the aerodynamics, where these things really iron things out and take over? Yeah, a lot to think about. Well, it's going to come down to your individual situation and your choice, but whichever you go for, whether losing weight off your body or your bike, you do have options. I mean, admittedly, there's more options on the bike. If it comes to losing weight off you, just make sure you've got a long-term and sustainable plan, but you kind of get a double bonus because you're quite likely to get fitter at the same time. And if you are having a lot of weight to lose, you'll probably find that you'll reduce your surface area a little bit and you'll be able to get into a better position. And all in all, you're going to be more aerodynamic as well as being lighter. But on the bike, well, there's a few quite quick fixes that you've got as options. Yeah, like drinking some water and getting rid of that off the bike. <laughs> yeah, if only, Mark. I mean, obviously, you need to remove the water altogether. You'd be far better off just stopping and having a pee, to be honest. That's a good idea. <laughs> I mean, on that note, though, of losing water, there's actually an old guy in the club who I ride with quite often, and he used to be a racer, and we'll come to the final climb at the end of a club ride, He'll empty all his water bottles and he'll just shoot off and leave us all for dead. Ah, now I'm feeling lighter. Now, when it comes to your bike, you can, of course, upgrade to a lighter frame. Bit of an extreme and costly upgrade, though. The next port of call is perhaps the wheels. Although, again, quite a costly upgrade, though does sometimes come with quite significant upgrades and advantages to it, perhaps in terms of the stiffness, the feel of it, but also perhaps even aerodynamics. Beyond that, there's some smaller upgrades that can improve the weight of the bike, such as the componentry, the pedals, the seat posts, the saddle rails, maybe even removing the handlebar tape altogether, although we could perhaps just leave that to the hill climbing elite out there. And we also can't forget 
inner tubes. Now, Ollie Bridgewood from GCN Tech is keen to tell you about this one, but the upgrade from butyl tubes to latex tubes is quite significant. And then, of course, we've got tubeless as well. Talking of Ollie Bridgewood, well, he's actually made an interesting video looking at rotational weight. So I would suggest going over to GCN Tech and checking that one out because it goes into all sorts of detail that we haven't got time to cover today. But basically, it's when you put weights at certain points on your wheel and then once you're at a specific speed, it will help for the wheels to maintain that momentum. But obviously, it's only suitable for certain courses and you are adding weight to your bike. So it's a little bit of a jury is out there on how much that one actually will work. But when it comes to me, well, like I said, here at GTN, I'm spoiled with top end bikes, super light componentry. So I think if I want to lose weight from anywhere, I'm just going to have to eat less cakes and, well, maybe get rid of a few water bottles. But I'd love to know at the end of this video what you might be going to do. Are you going to be upgrading your bike or are you going on some sort of diet? Get involved in the comments section below. If you've enjoyed it, give us a like. Remember, follow us on our social media and why not? Subscribe here on YouTube.